How's it going, everybody? Wanted to do a review video of my Cub Cadet 3X26 I had for a little over four years now. Uh, looking on YouTube, I didn't see too many like full reviews, long-term reviews of this snowblower, so I figured I'd help some people out and do a review video. So here you go. Uh, so here we have a Cub Cadet 3X 26 inch snowblower, the three stage snowblower. I have personally owned this for about a little over four years, maybe going on five years now, I want to say. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I do maybe about 10, 15 yards of snow in the wintertime where I live, and I live uh, in Twinsburg, Ohio, so right in the middle of the snow belt. So when we get snow, we get snow. So that's kind of why I went with the 3X versus the traditional 2X. Uh, I had in the past a Cub Cadet uh, SWE 30, which I believe has the, an older model of the same motor of that, which is the 357 cc's, uh, which equivalents, if you Google it, to 12 horsepower they calculate it uh, but anyways so I'll kind of go around and I'll talk my likes and dislikes so this is the three stage meaning you have your auger your traditional augers on the outside which is your first stage and then the for the three stage simply replaces your inner augers and puts two sets of fans they call them accelerators you got one here and you got one in the back and then you have your fan in the back to push it up and out uh, so that's where it's considered one, two, three stage. That's how they get to three stage. Uh, so on the, the newer three stages, you do get your metal chute, which is much nicer than the plastic ones. It's much more, much more bigger, wider, kind of throw more a little bit throatier, if you ask me. Uh, the plastic ones don't seem to be as wide as the metal ones. Uh, they kind of just seem long. I want to say just as about long it's just a little bit skinnier i have noticed but those are a little bit older i don't know if they're still doing the <coughs> excuse me doing those uh but that's that you do have your traditional i think they call them x-track tires um don't quote me i'm not 100 percent sure uh like all cubs electric start like i said this is the 357 cc's on all the 3x models you do get your two nice lights heated hand grips which are very nice i don't use them too too much uh, i mean if i'm simply doing like my driveway you know as you see i mean i'll just hurry up start the stove blower do it not grab my gloves and just kick them on and usually you know they'll keep my hands pretty warm warm enough you know i mean they'll be cold of course but uh you know that's about it so simply left right up down you do have six forward two reverse i don't really use the reverses too much uh i mean if i'm after about you know nine ten yards i'm getting lazy i'll just you know pop it in reverse but very rarely do i ever put it in reverse uh and then i'll kind of go over like speeds and such like that uh but other than that you do have your controls choke primer key all that good stuff it does like i said i just got done i just got done kind of cleaning it it is currently not snowing, uh, so I do keep up on maintenance pretty heavily on all my equipment. I mean, every year it gets oil changed full top to bottom. If it looks bad, I don't care. It gets replaced or fixed. Um, I mean, I'm the type of person that believes in maintenance, so you get what you pay for in that case, you know. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go in and talk about my likes and dislikes. Uh, first, I'll start off with earlier i said i have a strong love and hate relationship with this snowblower uh so when it snows where i snow well i'm sorry when it snows where i live in the snow belt usually i mean i'll get a bucket high of snow and uh i mean if it's heavy great this will hand out like a champ but going to my dislikes um with the third stage that fan so those accelerators spin as fast as the back one to put it into perspective how fast that spins i do go through like i'm sure everybody heard i do go through more shear pins in that front 
accelerator, uh, but it's more my fault than anything because uh, I usually, I'll, and I'll go into that with the with my likes, uh, but I do go through a lot of shear pins in that front one. Uh, not any, I really don't break any other ones. I mean, you can see I kind of have some holes drilled there, there, and I keep a boatload of shear pins on hand. Uh, but one of my dislikes is that front accelerator so if you're going through light fluffy snow or even light to kind of mid mid range or where it's just starting to get heavy uh, that's where i absolutely cannot stand this snow blower in any way shape or form i want to drag it down the road i i just get pissed with it and i mean it could and i'm talking it could be you know half a bucket high a little bit more than half a bucket high if it's the light snow it doesn't matter how deep it is it seems to me that front accelerator just from my experience causes more issues with blowing <coughs> excuse me blowing the snow creating just too it seems to me too much t air air movement you know so it wants to push it more than anything granted when you when you do catch up to, when it does kind of build up and it seems to be spilling out all the sides it'll eventually suck it on in and it's gone in like two seconds and the motor will handle it like a champ it won't bog down none of that uh but it just seems it's all when it's the light snow it's always spilling off the sides no matter what even if you go slow you go in six gear doesn't matter when you're doing light snow it's always spilling out the sides and i mean you can take a half of a three quarters of a bucket to a full bucket it kind of doesn't matter how big of a scoop you're taking it's always spilling out the sides. so that's my number one dislike with the snow blower of why i do not like it now my likes um when it comes to mid snow or very very heavy snow last winter we had about a whole bucket of snow where it melted and the next day it all froze so it was that real heavy kind of break your back if you're going to shovel it and then two inches i want to say two inches of just flat out slush i couldn't clog this snow blower once last year and like i said i this is my third season i want to say fourth season with this exact snow blower i haven't clogged it once in that whole entire time i do like i said keep it clean i keep it nice to shoot nice and sprayed so it doesn't clog when I, when i'm going in between rounds you know so i do keep up with it but i in my four years i've never had this thing clog um but anyways when it's very heavy snow i mean usually when i'm doing a drive as you see kind of our drives in twinsburg and some of them are pretty big some of them get a lot bigger you know where i'm doing multiples usually my average speed uh for this snow blower is in fourth to sixth gear usually i keep the thing in sixth gear and i can plow through wet heavy snow almost bucket high and not have it spill out uh, you know, so that's my absolute favorite thing about this snowblower. And I can blow through a yard like this and and have everything done and the snowblower loaded back on my truck in, in about 10 minutes. You know, that's why I absolutely love the three-stage when it comes to heavy snow. Because like I said, fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth gear, I plow through it. Hit the end of the driveway where it's nothing but, you know, plowed snow coming from the street. I slam through it. That's another re whole reason why I mentioned earlier I go through more accelerator pins uh just because i'm i'm going in fifth and sixth gear now granted if i <coughs> if i see it struggling of course i'm going to slow down i'm not going to use and abuse it uh but if you know if you are that type you know you'll end up bending it you'll end up bending that front accelerator to no other um i mean i have hit stuff too you know like uh metal mop mop handles and stuff like that and they they pretty much snap like they're all opposed to but you know that's the honest review video in my personal experience of the cub cadet 3x now i know this is getting long and i know you guys don't want to stay here for a whole 10 15 minutes uh but that's basically my like and dislike uh of this snowblower there's not too many more dis dislikes out of it like i said it is a 12 horsepower motor so you do eat a little bit of gas when you're flying through it like i do uh the lights are very nice and <clears throat> nice and bright i do wish some like some of the newer models i had a light bar here i might put one uh just to kind of keep up a little bit more but you really don't have to with those lights they're pretty bright um <coughs> excuse me uh but there you go so that is the cub cadet 3x 
26 inch um, and then my absolute last things um, I've the other thing going to dislikes is I am always adjusting this lever here which is my cable for my auger uh, as you see the bottom bolt has gotten stripped out uh, so I'm always adjusting this thing even though I <clears throat> even when I had two screws in there I was always adjusting this thing you know keep making sure that's nice and tight it was always seeming to come loose granted even if it didn't move because I had little marks on there so if it moved I know uh, now I don't know if the cable was just stretching but after you know two seasons and continuously doing that i don't think that's a stretching issue at that point i've taken the bottom apart and gone over everything and it's not something that's just simply coming loose i'm always adjusting that uh this year not too much but i've only went out with it maybe a small handful of times of uh, you know 10 houses each uh but other than that there you go so there is a review video of the cub cadet 3x26 have any questions, please feel free, comment. I'll do the best I can. Um, but, I mean, there you go. That's love-hate relationship is the best thing I can say. Uh, would I buy one again for 3X? I'm, I'm unsure. Uh, I mean, I do like the Cub Cadet 30 max i think it's called uh the 3x uh you get a, i think the four something cc motor uh but i mean i do like some of the other ones but i'm from what i do i'm lo also looking at a honda uh snowblower and those things are expensive but pretty unstoppable other than the little bit of flaws with it but if cub cadets a little bit more budget friendly uh but there you go have a good one